title of the book is The Gloops and the Special Plan. No, right here. That says it was written and illustrated by J.R. Fox. Mm. Who I spoke to today. Seems like a very nice lady. Uh. Ready? You guys ready for the first page? The Gloops and the Special Plan by J.R. Fox. Molly Gloop is a happy little girl who lives on a world very much like ours. Everybody say hi to Molly. Hi, Molly. But in some ways, different. Molly loves to read books and play with her bloople and go on adventures in nature. Molly's parents are Mr. and Miss Gloop. They are kind and sometimes silly. They work together in a nursery. Ooh, the nicey. No, a nursery. Nursery? Nicey. <laughs> Not a nicery. Nicey, no. I know that. Okay, so a nursery. Nicey. You know what? <laughs> Do you know what a nursery is? It helps, um, helps other people. Um, no, that's a nurse. A nursery is a place where they take care of plants. Oh. Okay, now that we're going to move on from that. It's a whole other story, huh? The nursery is very much like other nurseries, but in some way different. In this nursery grows a special plant. It is as ancient as the very first family of gloops. It smells sweet and loves the sound of singing. The plant can be used to make many, many things. It can make clothes like Molly's dress. It can make paper for Molly to color on. It can make medicine for sick gloops and help them to be well again. And some grown-up gloops sometimes eat the plant and it helps them to be silly together. <laughs> Children are so good at being silly already. So you guys don't need the extra gloop medicine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'm falling off. Well, I, I, I think it's time to keep going here. It can even be made into toys for little blooples. Oh, look at that. It's a very special and useful plant. Mr. and Miss Gloop are happy to sing to it and help it grow. Though years and years ago, the old kings of the Gloops did not like the special plant at all. It gave the Gloops so much. The old kings were selfish and did not want the Gloops to have the plant. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Angry Gloop kings. So the old kings filled the Gloop's ear with rumors. They said it made Gloop's lazy, which it didn't, unless they were already a lazy Gloop. <laughs> <laughs> they said it made Gloop sick, which it did just the opposite. They said it made Gloop's ugly, which of course it didn't. They said it made Gloop's bad, which it didn't, unless the Gloop already wanted to be bad. <laughs> that was so bad true. Gloop. <laughs> Sadly, many of the gloops did not understand that the plant was special and useful, and they believed the old king's rumors. The old kings commanded that the gloops give up all of the special seeds so that no more of the plant could grow. No! no. no. All right, boo. No more plant. Look at Mr. and Miss Gloop and lots of other gloops who loved the plant stood up to the old kings and said, no. 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 That is right. It took a long time, but the gloops kept on saying no. 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 And eventually, most of the other gloops realized the plant was good. And they said no to No. 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 All right. <laughs> Try as they might, the old king could not take away the special seeds. Oh, poor good little king. So the special plant lived on. It made dresses and paper for Molly, medicine for sick gloops, reminded grown-ups to be silly, and made toys for blooples everywhere. <laughs> Sadly, some gloops still believe the old kings, but this doesn't get Molly or her parents down. If ever another gloop says to them, you must be lazy, or you must be bad, they simply smile and say, we are good gloops, and we love each other. Someday, you will know it too. Aww. The end. Yeah, you want a high five? Oh, that's a high five. What for you? Oh, you want two hands? 
the no. vibe. Slap it. Oh, you just is so confusing. It's too many vibe highs.